sure. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Final Review. This is going to be a is series. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Hold on, don't don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to Final Score. This is the first episode. This is going to be the first episode of a series of episodes of episodes that you are going to love and that we are going to love making episodes that will stand the test of time where we would truly reveal how we feel about movies and what we think about movies and what we look for in movies. Today, I am Will, and I'm here with Reese, your usual host for the Through the Barrel podcast. We are going to be reviewing Cocaine Bear. We watched it last... No, whatever, I'm not talking like that. We watched it last Friday. Yeah. We got a list of things that uh, we look for in movies, and it's ten things, and if it fills up each one of those things, then that kind of determines the score. Some of them are very broad, so we're going to have to get specific with them, but we're going to try to, like, <coughs> make sure not every movie that we review is, like, nine out of ten, eight out of ten, <laughs> like, is it ten out of ten. How we have ten points, so, like... Whether or not it hits the point or not is if it gets the point. If we agree, so okay, like uh, half a point. Yeah, I was about to say if we agree on uh, on like a, like one of the points in general, then that's one full point. But then if we disagree, then that's half a point. Okay. I think that should be how it works because it's remember it's two of us. So. Yeah, that makes All sense. All right, first before we get into reviewing, I brought an overview of Cocaine Bear just so we can talk about it. So, the description on Google for Cocaine Bear says, After a 500 black bear consumes a significant amount of cocaine and embarks on a drug-fueled rampage, an eccentric, uh, an ex- an, I have a stutter, an eccentric gathering of cops, criminals, tourists, and teenagers assemble in Georgia forests. It's in Georgia? Yeah, yeah, it was obvious. You didn't get that? I thought it was somewhere in, like, the Middle West. Okay. Anyways, I wasn't. Uh, the uh, release date for it is February 24th, 2023. Uh, in the USA, the director is Elizabeth Banks. It was distributed by Universal Pictures, and the budget was thirty to thirty-five million dollars. They have bears in Georgia. I don't know. I'm too lazy to search that up right now. Probably right North now, Georgia. Did you say where even is Georgia? <laughs> it's supposed to be like more of like a no. In no- isn't it in? It probably in North Georgia. There's no way there's bears in South Georgia. I, I don't know, but um. It is a comedy horror movie, and it is, a, it, it is an hour and 35 minutes long, and it is uh, rated R. Right now on IMDb, it is 6.3 out of 10. There's bears in Georgia. On IMDb, it's 6.3 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's 68. And on, on, on Metacritic, it was 54%. 85% of Google users like the movie. In North Georgia. Um, usually whenever there's a movie, I feel whenever it's like a comedy... Or, like, it's one of those movies where you know, or, like, it looks god-awful, like, from the trailers. Because I heard a lot of shit talking about this movie. Anytime there's a movie where it's usually getting a lot of, like, like shit-talking or it's a comedy, especially comedies, the usually the Google users percent outweighs the Rotten Tomatoes or, Meta, or, or, yeah, or, or Metacritic. How do Rotten Tomato reviews work? Because every single thing I've seen has, like, an 83. Like, 82. There are only a few movies that have a 100%. Like, only a few. And, um... They're usually crap movies. Who does those? I don't... Oh, it's a, is it better to ha- Like, the higher the number, the better it is? Better yeah. the score? Okay. So, if you're, like, under, I want to say, 70%, then it's rotten. Or maybe under 60, then it's rotten. I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna be talking about Cocaine Bear. So... I've actually been wanting, like, like before it came out, I was looking for people to watch the movie with because I was just so hyped about a, a movie about a bear on cocaine, and it, it just kind of looked funny, like honestly. Yeah. But um, yeah, I found uh, I found out Reese wants to watch it or wanted to watch it, so I went and grabbed him at like ten o'clock at night and we went to a ten thirty five showing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah, we already talked about that whole night on, on the podcast, so I'm not going to go into that. Yeah. But, um, 
All right, yeah. Do you want to start diving into our 10 topic or into our, to our 10 picks, or do you want to? I mean, you kind of covered everything I was going to say. Really? Yeah. All right, we'll each do one. All right. All right. The first point, the music, I the, like the music, if we liked it or not, either if it was composed or if it was like a song that was already made. I don't recognize any songs that were made, <laughs> like from that movie. So I'm assuming I think the it was ending song. Composed. Wasn't there a? There's an the ending end, song. I guess the end song. But most of it was composed for the movie. Yeah, I didn't have an issue with it. I thought it was cool the way that they would like do the horror kind of strings, but then as soon as it would be like an actual horror moment, it would play like the 80s techno music. Yeah. I thought that was funny. Because the music, like it usually contrasted from the, like what was actually going on on screen, but it also added to it though, at the same time, even though it was pretty much the opposite of um, like feeling, it was really good. Like I think they really did that well because You'd see something really gory, and then, and then there'd either be like a really, really lighthearted music playing in the background, or you'd see something really gory, and then it'd cut to a really happy scene, yeah. <laughs> and it'd switch back and forth. I thought that was very entertaining. That kind of made you a little on your, on your toes, I yeah. feel, because they, it'd be like '80s techno music. Then all of a sudden, a lady's face is flattened on the pavement. Yeah. Like the whole the whole scene with the hospital truck. Also, we're gonna probably spoil. All. Probably, so, so probably, if you haven't watched it, probably gonna spoil a lot of it. But um, yeah, like the oh, scene yeah. in like the hospital truck and the the lady. So the guy gets mauled by the bear in the car. The lady, like the sheriff on on the cart, falls out the back and her face is just completely scraped against the pavement, going like thirty miles an hour. No, not even thirty. That shit was probably going sixty. There, she's definitely speeding. And then the lady that was driving hit like a tree and got propelled through the windshield and uh died but all but all while that was happening it was just 80s techno music and like i'll be like doo, 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 yeah like, even after <laughs> dude after that whole adrenaline rush of just seeing them like speeding on the road and like people dying and stuff it like when it was silent after the whole aftermath it was just a big shot of the whole scene with like the bodies lying everywhere and the like the car on and then the wreck and you could just hear the music faintly coming from the ambulance. <laughs> and it was really <laughs> upbeat music. You just see the bear walking out. <laughs> the bear walks and out. And it's like, just snip, blood. He, like, snips a course <laughs> and then, like, just walks away. Or, like, when, um... Or, like, when What's-His-Face, he showed up to the sheriff station after the bear got to the teenager and the sheriff. <laughs> and, like... And, like, he's, he gets out of the car. It's sunny. There's, like, some 80s music. And then when he leans back into his car, a bloody hand will pop up onto the onto the window and slide down. And it's like, dun, 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 dun. Then it comes to him. It's like, dun, 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 dun. And he's, like, drinking a soda. <laughs> I thought I thought that was cool. I, I, I thought I thought it was funny. Uh, honestly, do you think it had good music? And Music definitely gets the point. The music me. was definitely good. I felt like, I felt like, they did, like it wasn't a bad, like, it wasn't... It wasn't an issue. It the fit. music, what wasn't an issue, it fit. It did. Now, oh, oh no, wait. That's hey, weird. we could each. It could be if the final court score can be out of a hundred, and if there's ten, then we could each rank. We could each give a five star review on each section. I thought we were just gonna do like a t- like a and nine then out they, of ten, ten out of ten. Then they all add up to one hundred, like one hundred at the end. Yeah, I know, but then we gotta go into like. That's too complicated. Let's yeah, just do. Well as, let's I mean, just like, do I'm cool with your idea where we where we individually give it like a five star rating. Yeah, because then it'd be five stars from each of us, which is ten. So that's the one point, and then our um, ten from each ten from each no, of us. No, that's not what I meant. When I meant ten, it would be like we have ten points. If we both agree on a single point, then that's yeah one point. And then if we disagree on one, then that's half. The stars are just kind of our own personal opinion. Okay. That's what I thought. That's how All I was right. thinking. Okay. That's a lot simpler. So. You do the second one. All right. Um, okay. The second one is just the characters in general. Like the characters. See, because... Okay, first, I just want to say that I think... I don't know where to start on the characters. There was such a like wide variety... And also the cast. I think the cast was really good. I think uh, Ray Liotta was in it. Yeah, Ray Liotta was in it. 
Um, Who was she? Was she the mom? Like the nurse? Was it Ray or the one that was boy. in the pink jumpsuit? I have no idea. No, he's uh, he was the like the drug lord guy, with the long hair. By uh, the end. Yeah. I think he. Are we I, saying spoilers? Yeah, I literally said like we're probably gonna spoil. So oh, gonna... okay, okay, yeah. It's like two. He weeks was after like the him. guy who died at the end. He was. He. I think he was like the main antagonist. He was. He, well, he was only really in there for like the beginning. Like, like a little <laughs> clip in the middle to show what he was doing, and then he came in at the end. Yeah. For the finale. He but... was the one that was like getting the guys to go and retrieve the drugs. Yeah, and... he was like the, like the main guy who like, yeah. Um, but I think the characters. See, because it wasn't really a main character. It was just about a whole cast of people. And it was also really cool because it showed, in the beginning of the movie, it showed all the characters for a little two to three minute scenes um, for each character individually. And then they all kind of came together uh, for the main part of the movie. That's what I like. I like, yeah, I do like how they kind of showed the character like their motives and what they were doing and then how they all tied i thought that was really yeah. impressive i always like it whenever m- movies do that i see that it really shows some thought went into it yeah like as soon as i saw them all split up and it was all kind of scram like kind of scrambled around i kind of knew that they were all going to come together and they did it really well when yeah they did. it's always interesting how they do it like bullet train bullet train we need to review bullet train oh my we have to do that Dude, I watched it before he did, and when I showed it to him, because we watched it with our friend Noel, how many times? How many times are we gonna bring up Noel, and he's just never gonna be on anything, whatever. But um, but uh, we watched it with him and Noel, and they they fucking loved it. It was awesome. That movie was such a good movie. It, it was one of those movies to where a lot of people said it was gonna be trashed, like my sister. And when topic. we watched it, it was so good. But yeah. Yeah, I like I like I like what they did with all the stories coming together. I always find it interesting how they come together. That's what yeah. I that's what I like to see. Yeah, I mean they all kind of piece together. I mean I guess the characters kind of had arcs. I think only character arcs. no. I think the main. Well, I think the mom and the kids didn't have it. No, the girl did have an arc. Kind of. The mom and the girl, their relationship did kind of have an arc because remember by 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 the end. What she was her name Dee Dee? Was the, the little girl, I think, her name That was Dee. one thing I had against the movie, which we didn't put it down. I guess that could fall under characters, about, like, them, about us, them being, like, memorable, like, their names. We have no idea what Oh, I are. literally don't know any Yeah, I don't remember names. any of the names. The, I, I feel like they just didn't do a good job of saying it enough. Yeah, no, because Dee I was knew, the girl's name. Dee yeah. Dee was the girl's name. Because I knew the characters, but I just didn't know the names. Yeah. I mean, like, that's not I mean, really that's anything probably just to me. take off. Yeah, like, I probably just didn't pay attention that <laughs> yeah. much. Which, it was also, like, 11.30, so... That's, yeah, we didn't get out of that theater until 12.30. But, um, the arc, I guess, the daughter and the mom, like, Dee Dee and the mom did have a good arc, because by the end, the daughter's, like, she she said she would like to go on that trip or whatever with the mom and her boyfriend or something. Yeah. Because that showed the relationship arc. And then the two drug dealers. Yeah. That was, like, an arc. That was good. Is that, that was good. Yeah. Because I, I, my favorite characters were those two. I love those. Yeah, two the characters. chemistry was really cool. They, I love, I love the whole thing where like the guy's trying to get over his wife or something, and the other dude's just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> the other guy's like, just stop talking to me. He's like, stop bringing it up. Dude, I think, like, it was cool how all the characters worked together. Yeah, it was like they would bring individual characters. It's it's like it's like they had a large variety of characters, and then we see these two together for a while. But then at some point they split up, and then they meet, and then those two characters meet other characters, and then we yeah. see the interaction between them. It's like it's like you really do see how the whole cast and like characters yeah. like interact. Like it didn't really feel like there was a side character. I want to say, like everybody in this movie was a main character, because the movie was about like a huge cast of characters i guess not working together well i guess i guess they would be kind of working together because it was kind of them versus the bear but also they they kind of had individual factions like the drug dealers compared to like the law enforcement like the police officers who were there uh then like the other people dude but the detective that was man 
He is so, but the characters were memorable though. Like, I might not remember the names, but the characters themselves were really memorable, and the scenes that they were in themselves kind of helped like showcase their personalities because you can it like felt that they were real. It felt like they were real people, like the sarcasm, the humor, but also. I think just the acting in general sold that. I think they're really good actors for the roles. Oh, that was another honestly. topic. Oh, shit. Okay, we just did it two at once. Yeah. So just characters. <laughs> All right. No, because we did characters then oh. later on. It was like if the acting was good. The acting was We'd good. We go over that, too. I like the acting. The acting wasn't bad. My favorite was the detective. I was terrible. I, I did like the detective. I was so crushed when he died. I mean, like, the movie did good. Like, it did do a good job of, like, making us kind of like the characters. Yeah. That's what I'll say. It did a good job. And, like... I don't want to say that... Hmm. Okay, let me think for a second. I have to think of how to word this. Like, it's not that his death wasn't sad, but it was like... Oh, I don't... I mean, I guess I was kind of... I was sad when he died, but like... It was... I don't know how to word this. Okay, you keep saying what you're saying. I'll... Like, do you kind of get what I'm talking about? Because, like, again, back to the movie kind of switching between being, like, gore and horror and, like, comedy. So, like, you couldn't really feel sad when someone died because, like, it was somewhat lighthearted at the same time. Like, I'm not yeah, saying, he like... he was, like, saying shit as he was He dying. was, like, making... Like, he was... Like, being humorous while he was dying. So I wasn't really, like, sad. Like, not to say that I, like, didn't want the character to be there. Or, like, I wasn't going to miss him being on screen. But, like, it wasn't bad. Um... Sorry, I'm t my dad's asking me if Reese is eating with us. He doesn't live with me, as weird as that is. I mean, as normal as that is. He doesn't live with me. That's normal. <laughs> I say weird. <laughs> as weird as that. Well, I've been eating since like yesterday. Yes, he's eating with us. Okay. <laughs> just just that way your mom knows that you're being fed. All right. Um. So. Well, yeah. The I've, and there was some like again with the music kind of helped with that too. Um, like when the teenagers were dying in the sheriff's office. And then... She just shot the dude in the head! Yeah! But what also, the they did it in a way so it was, like, somewhat funny. Dude, Like, I, it was so unexpected, and yeah. also the music... I was like... Like, you were like, like, oh! And then I, like, kind of laughed a little bit, because I was like, what? We, no, I remember, like, look, like we had a talk in a theater, so people in the theater were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, people were, like, out loud laughing, and like, like, especially when the kids were trying to eat the cocaine. There was, like, this one dude yeah. that was like, oh, nah. <laughs> he was like, nah, man. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, man, you eat it. You eat the cocaine. I was just okay, like, what the like, fuck? Yeah, I've done cocaine before. And she's like, oh, yeah, well, then do some right now. And he's like, okay, I will. And he was like, he just started, like, he ate some of it. He was like, oh, it tastes like shit. Yeah, the kids, like, cursed in it. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, I like the characters. The characters. I would give the characters. The characters would get a good point. Yeah. And I guess alongside that, the actors. Well, how would we disagree? Just like if you thought that it was too, I like. I'm sure we'll get to a point where we're like we didn't really think yeah. it was that cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. So since we just knocked two right out of the park, so um. So we did plot. acting and characters. Plot and was the plot entertaining. I thought the plot was definitely, it's it, it's it's it, it, it's a bear on cocaine. Like let's like let's be honest, it's a bear on cocaine that people are in I the mean, forest like, trying to run away from bear. I mean, I guess the plot came from the characters' relationships. Yeah. Like there wasn't really a plot, man. Like I honestly don't know if I would give the plot a point. Well, because a, plot, well, a, a part of the overview is like um, it was like. Uh, five five hundred pound black black dragon, which is a significant amount of cocaine, and embarks on a drug fueled rampage. An eccentric mm -hmm. gathering of cops, criminals, tourists, and teenagers assemble in a like the characters are in like the the description, like they are. Yeah, I mean, like I guess the, the bear didn't even okay. die at the end. 
Well, in real life, the bear died with like 40 something pounds of cocaine in its system. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it ingested like either 100 or like, se- like 70 to 100 pounds worth of cocaine and then died with like 40 something in its system. So I think, okay, if we're going off of the idea that it's the whole thing is just a bear on cocaine, that is some easy, like that's an easy plot. But I feel like the characters though and how it all like there was detail like shit went into this movie I feel like people put effort into this because of how the characters interact and everything that's what yeah, I'm looking at I just like I don't think the plot was really there for me like I was there for the characters like I love the characters and stuff but like I mean like I feel like there wasn't really a central pacing like, it was kind of just the characters doing stuff until eventually, like, the main guy, like, the main, like, the main bad guy uh, died, and then they kind of, like, everyone just kind of left, and the bear was still there. Dude, it was, like, Until Dawn. What was Until Dawn like? Until Dawn was, so, the premise is, like, the, so, uh, these group of friends, they would go to this cabin every year, one year, two of the friends, they were sisters, they died. Or like they just disappeared, and so. You're talking about the game. Yeah, the game. That's the okay. game. Oh, that's it, isn't that the okay. This came out like 2012 or something. But um, basically, all the teenagers went back to the game, or like went back to the house, and then they had to survive through the night. I guess the only reason why I'm saying it's like until dawn, just because they had to survive through the night, and they, and the all the characters went home by daylight. But like in until dawn, at one point, um, once they figure out who like the murderer was, because it was just a dude trying to play a prank on everyone. Um, the actual monsters are called Wendigos. There were some weird ass creatures to where whenever you're, it's like some Indian folklore to where, um, you're like in the mountains, and if you commit like ha- like cannibalism, the spirits of the Wendigos are like released, and they infect people, and then they become these things that can't see but they can hear and um they're like these weird big bony things but like you turn into them if you commit like cannibalism and then they had to like fucking survive these monsters that are like fucking moving fast as shit like it was it like it's pretty freaky i remember when when i first saw it i was just like what the fuck is this piece of shit (laughs) it's like what is this i don't know i i thought if we're going coming back to the plot i thought it was entertaining because of the characters i'm including the characters in the plot because it does include these group of people i guess they do get into a plot. like when i think of a plot though i think of like plot points and i guess there was a climax but like it kind of just felt like it didn't really feel like a climax to me it kind of just felt like the story ending hmm. you know what i mean yeah like i guess it would be when they're in the cave right and like the like everyone's there together and they're no, like the, trying to well, no the climax is when the dude dies what dude the main like the main drug dude I'm calling him the antagonist but like he wasn't really a bad guy he was just like another character who's and he was just in charge of like the drug but like I guess that was the climax but like it didn't really feel like the climax to me I mean I guess it's, I know it was a climax because it was before like after it happened the resolution was there where everyone just kind of left but like I just feel like there wasn't really progression in the story as much as like progression in the characters you know what uh, I'm gonna side with you yeah I think now, now I that think I'm the characters it, made the movie see now that I'm thinking about it I wouldn't involve characters in plot because I'm looking back at some of my favorite movies and one of them I thought was like Okay, I don't, it's not my favorite, I don't like it at all, but Multiverse of Madness, it had this, like, at one point in the story, the characters need to have some new problem that they need to overcome. Yeah. Like, they have the original problem, and it's like, they're getting close to their end, to, like, their, um, like, to the solution, but then something else happens that they have to get around, and that's, like, Act 2, Part B. Like, it would have been different if they, like... no other. Right. I'm going to compare it to The Walking Dead because The Walking Dead also has a large cast of characters and it's mainly about the characters' interactions and relationships and development. 
and like the main purpose of like the zombies and the apocalypse stuff is like pushing the characters forward but like there was progression though because um like they would do something and like uh I guess like this isn't really like a spoiler for The Walking Dead but like like someone got lost I think this is like season 2 I think but like someone gets lost and then they're like like for a few episodes it's about like the progression of them looking for the person and then like toward like when they're looking for them then someone gets shot and then like they have to go to like this farm that they like meet other people and then that happens and then like like stuff builds off of like there's a plot within the character development that like builds off each other and i feel like in cocaine bear if like the bear was kind of like the inciting incident of like the people dying and like the bear was still there but like stuff happened because like the whole thing was them just like trying to find the coke so it was like, like one party was looking for the coke while the other party was looking for her. yeah but yeah. like if something happened where they like I don't know man like it's just like something didn't click for me for like story progression as much as character progression because I wouldn't say the story is the same as the characters but I, I get like the plot points is the same as the characters I get that because like character relationship building isn't really the same as like okay this is like the conflicts and then this is like this is what the climax was and this is like the resolution I mean like when I think of that I think of like specific events happening but like really the only events were like characters dying but like even where characters died it didn't impact the story to some degree here's what I'm gonna say like I it did but like it thought. wasn't like it wasn't like the character died so now like everything shifts over like it's it's so kept moving and like the character development like the same so I'm gonna I'm, to wrap up this plot thing I'm gonna explain by what we mean so so Multiverse of Madness it was a shit movie I know some people probably found it just entertaining to watch while other people like me a Marvel diehard fan can tell the flaws it did have good story structure though the whole point is that they're looking for this book that can, like, perfectly get rid of Wanda or stop her control or protect America Chavez. Wanda gets to that book and destroys it. That was the main goal. Get to the, get to the book and then fight Wanda. Wanda destroys it. So now Doctor Strange has to come up with some new way to fight Wanda and defeat her. That was, like, at the end of the movie. It was one of the things where it's, like, the whole goal is to get to this one point but then something happens where you can't do that anymore and you gotta work around it. That's yeah. what I feel is a good plot movie. That's good because it like it was something it was like a goal for not just the characters, but also something for the viewer to like anticipate and kind of root for the characters for. But once it like once the goal kind of shifts over, then the char- like the viewer's also more invested in the movie because they're like oh shoot wait that was what I was like rooting for the whole time like what happened what like what's gonna go next like they kind of I'm just gonna put down an X for plot no point from either of us because I because I understand what you're talking about yeah like it's not that I didn't like what was going on in the movie it's just for plot specifically like I love the character and stuff like specifically for the plot points and progression of story I don't think character development is the same as story progression. I think it'd be different. So for plot, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it a point. Like I feel like that's gonna offend some people, but like for me, I just kind of felt like there wasn't a lot of story development, as much as the movie was focused on character development and like the fun interactions and gory interactions between yeah. characters. Sorry, I was just for that part. Sorry, I was messing around with this Apple Pencil the whole time. I saw that it was magnetized like this, and I was like, the fuck? I was like, is it magnetized to the laptop? And I was like, no, it's magnetized to the metal of the table. I was so invested. Like, you can look back in the video and watch me just, like, mess around with it while you were going on that. So sorry, but, yeah, this is going to be no yeah. point from either of us. It wasn't bad. Just, like, the plot points. Yeah. Like, I didn't really feel like there's a lot of structure in the plot. If we're going to get really critical on here... Um, ca- camera work. I thought like cinematography. Whenever I think of cinematography, I think of the Batman. I think of that. That is some of the best. That is things. a good example. Every now and then, Cocaine Bear did have some good shots, 
like that one scene where it was like the shot at the at the like front of the barrel of the gun and then the person that was fades sick. out. It's I remember the, that's like that, that's like one of the most memorable shots from the whole movie. Besides from the fact so that the lady cool. flying out of like the front of the that was probably a that really was cool because it was like was from bad. there and then that like that was a bad hand gesture I just did. <laughs> I didn't see it. It was good. Like I remember when when it when showed the, the standoff with the two guys with the guns with the pistols and it showed like looking down the like it showed down the barrel of the gun and the people were blurry and it was just the guns and it switched between both of them. But that's the thing. I'm, that's like the only yeah. dope shot out of the whole movie. Because I remember, because I was like, "Holy shit, we'll look!" And like <laughs> we and both like, looked. Yeah, yeah, you and I were just like, "Oh damn, like that's I mean, that was cool. It, like pretty cool." But the worst part is that's the only one. That's the only like really memorable scene. Besides from the fact of like the hand coming up and you see the detective in the background. Yeah. I just but it wasn't like, bad though. It wasn't too bad. Um, how about how about this? If we're both not sure. Then, or like if we're both like it's not too bad but it's not a full point we could each give it half a point or like yeah. we could both declare it's just half a it's point it's not like there wasn't like groundbreaking stuff except for that one scene with the guns there was, was the really good one. stuff that was the only one to me but there wasn't a whole lot of like what's like a good I guess the Batman is a good example yeah I <laughs> That that's probably the best cinematography. But it did it used a lot of like the scenery to like frame characters and stuff though. Like with trees and stuff. It was like the window like It used a lot of light. I would give music. it a point for because like even though it wasn't groundbreaking, like the way it did it with the characters was really good. Yeah. It was clean, it wasn't like I'm gonna give it a half point. Just because like we're both just because we're both like it did do some stuff, but it wasn't like groundbreaking it did get fancy every now and then like that's what i'm trying so to say so how do we give it yeah i'm just gonna say half a point i'm just gonna say that so just should we just do half point yeah for that because we're both like okay. on the same page of like it was good but it wasn't like amazing okay so yeah, half like a point one of those things I, like it has some standard but every now and then it had a shot that made it wasn't bad be like oh that's cool it wasn't bad so but i'm just saying yeah I think it's just like half a point. Yeah. It's not bad. It like was, we're still giving like part bad. of a point, but does it follow its genre? This is a what genre does this movie it's hit? It's a horror comedy. That's what it. That's literally how it's described. In um, it says horror. Or no, comedy slash horror. That's how it's described. It's a commodore. Commodore. I think they. I think they nailed it. I think they nailed it. They did. I would give it a point. Oh, I'm they hit that, that genre. They. They they hit the comedy, they hit the horror. I like I don't have any and issues. And they switch between it clean too. Yeah. They switch fluently between it. They switch fluently. I don't have anything to say about that part. Like the, I agree. Yeah. I that's the yeah. that's the fastest one you've ever agreed on. Um That they, was a main thing I realized in the movie. Like as soon as it started. Like I would find myself like in all the horror and gore, like the way they did it. Like, they made it kind of enjoyable to watch and, like, funny. Like, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not, a I'm not like, a murderer. But, like, the way they did it in the movie, like, it was... It wasn't funny, but, like, it wasn't... Like, I wasn't scared or nervous or... I didn't really feel weird seeing the horror because, like, the way they did it, it wasn't even, like, cliche. It was just... But they'd always switch between it, so it's always, like... You go in between laughing to like something gory, so you're still like feeling lighthearted when you're watching it. And like usually when characters died, like it wasn't sad because they usually say something funny. Like like the detective guy on the roof, he was like, I forgot what he said, but he was like, Oh no! And, and something like, dude, it was, it was, it was just something so... like what it, it was like. It's like, where's the cocaine? I gave it to the bear. <laughs> yeah, I gave it to the bear. I think I think it's a point. Yeah, that's the fastest one that we've agreed on. Yeah, it gets point. a point. That's a point immediately. All, All right. right, we got four more. Pacing was it good or bad? Pacing as in like, as in the plot or just the way? I'm just gonna say as a whole, the way like the characters move forward in the plot. I thought which, it was good. I was saying that before how like the characters aren't the same as the plot, but like, I think the characters like did move forward like the pacing was good with the characters yeah i thought the pacing was all right i don't really have anything else to say on it i thought it was okay i mean 
I can't really tell if I was getting bored or if I was just kind of tired because I kind of started falling asleep towards the end, but I think it was just because it was late at night. I was, I was, so wide, I would open. Say... I was wide awake that whole time. Wide awake. Didn't catch myself dozing off. Looked over at Chris. Ass out. <laughs> he, his ass was out, dude. He was done. I look over my man's just, you were fading. You, you were fading. It's kind of towards the end. See, I was the lone ranger. I was the, I was the one that had a fighting chance. <laughs> it wasn't boring though. I was just like I was just tired in general. Yeah. But it wasn't like the movie bored me though, because I was always kind of interested to see what the characters were doing and stuff. Especially after someone lost their fingers. How did he lose the? What was it? That it was, was it that's was what I mean. Index, that was, it was, it was so funny. And the no, it was the ring and the index finger he lost. Even in the movie, this this guy's like, how did he lose those? Yeah, two? because they're not because even next to each other. This dude gets both gets two fingers shot off, and you can see the fingers gone and the blood and shit. And like you would expect to be like, like kind of like. Uh. But, like, as soon as it happened, he was like, Dude, how do you even do that? You shot... <laughs> they're not even next to each other. Yeah, and then, like, how did you even do that? Like, when something, like, bad happens, like, they just joke about it. And it's so, like, you don't really know how to feel. And it's kind of, like, it's fun being in there. Because it kind of, like, switches <laughs> how you like, feel. Like, and it was how like, did he even shoot? And then, and then, and then he was like, he was talking about, like, don't worry, I got this. And then the other guy's like... Yeah, he, he was like, yeah, right, I got, uh, he, he's like, yeah, right, I got your fingers in my back pocket. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, because you know. they were, they were like, at the gum, they were, uh, having a standoff, and he was like, can I, can I grab his fingers, though? He's like, yeah, don't raise fingers. He's like, yeah, and he's like, grab the fingers. <laughs> it, it was just so funny, but, like, the way they, they paced that, they paced them out, like, the characters' interactions, and, like, really, they paced the gore, too. Like, it wasn't all just, gore, 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 blood. and the, But it also wasn't all just, like, it paced so well in between the two different types yeah. that, like, you never got too comfortable with either of them. I thought, so I'll give the pacing a point. I'm going to give the pacing a point, too. Because the way it, it was able to alternate, bet alternate between them and not make you comfortable with either, but also make you enjoy and anticipate the other one at the same time was, like, really good. Alright, and then, um, this is not really about the movie anymore, but there's, just, but the last three are just kind of, like, our opinions. Um, well, I guess it's all our opinions, but, like, it's just yeah. more, like, not about, what, what, so was the advertising, what was promised? There was only one trailer for this movie. One trailer that never showed on TV because there was a lot of cursing in it. I would only get it on YouTube ads. I thought, I'm... In in the trailer, a guy goes, "It's a ba a bear did fucking cocaine." <laughs> Dude, that, I it like was funny. It. And like the poster, you, you want to like move the camera so they can like kind of see the poster for a second, oh, because okay. this poster is really sick. Like it's just a bear with coke around him, and the word bear is red. Yeah, this like is that's only, dope. And, and this is the only poster they have. Yeah, it was the movie. It wasn't bad. Like the the advertiser was really cool. Yeah, I, I really like that. I didn't see the trailer, but I just know the poster was cool. Oh shit! Oh no! I'm Maurice. I'm I'm cracking. Oh, okay. Oh, we're good. There it is. There it is. But yeah. But um, I didn't have an issue with it. What? Maybe. Will we give it half a point because there wasn't a lot? What do you mean? There I mean, you didn't, they didn't have to have a lot of. I trailers think. though because some movies release a lot of trailers and it works for the movie like marvel but, like this actually no marvel's a bitch dude they take shit out of their trail or like they put shit in their trailers that's not even in the movie or they'll take shit like like or, or like they'll take shit out of the trailer that's uh, well okay i understand if they take shit out of the trailer and put it in the movie but don't put <laughs> shit in the trailer and it's not in the movie that's like dude that's false advertising at that point yeah it's like I get it. It's supposed to like. Like the get movies people. do change by the time they're, uh, by the time the movie drops from the time the trailer is because usually like a, maybe a year to a few months. Like pre difference between the trailer and the movie like, drop. Like, like previs, post editing, post production. I understand if that happens. Yeah. But like, but if it's like a main scene and also people are really hyped about it, like don't take it out. Like it doesn't really have to do anything with cocaine bear but oh, yeah. just in general yeah. like black cocaine bear didn't do it like it was so blunt it was just <laughs> yeah. like That's it just had people cursing so it blunt. like it's so blunt the movie 
the like the trailer did tell us it's a bear on cocaine, and sure enough, what was and the And it's gonna be a bunch of cursing. Yeah, it's a, a bunch super of adult movie. Yeah. Like he gave you like if you don't if you didn't like the trailer, then you're like, okay, this is a movie. Yeah, then you're just like they're not gonna like they didn't sugarcoat anything, or they didn't cocaine coat anything <laughs> for the movie. I'm gonna give it a check. I'm gonna give it a point. I think I think it was what was promised. For advertising? Yeah. I mean, yeah, they didn't lie about anything. Like it made me want to watch it. Yeah. Okay, now rewatchability. Would you watch that again? I, I like. I don't usually watch movies I over and over again. Do watch movies over, but like. Uh, I'll watch them again with people. That's, that's yeah, how I am. I'm just going to say, like, on my own time would I watch it again. Like, just me. Probably not. I probably wouldn't watch this again if it was just me. Like, if I was showing the movie to someone, like, I always rewatch a movie if I'm, like, showing it to someone. Exactly. But, like, I'll go to the theater again to see it with, like, different people. But, on my like, own. It, it was just me, and I'm like, what am I going to watch tonight? I probably wouldn't put on Cocaine Bear again. Because it's one of those movies where you kind of, like, watch it once and really enjoy it, but it's not, like... It was memorable. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it was really good. And... I just don't... I don't know. I'm not saying it was bad, because... Being able to rewatch it... Yeah, like you can not being able to. It's not. It's not like we don't like it or not. Yeah. It's just. Do Do I see myself when I'm bored? Do I Do I want to yeah. throw on that? Am I gonna have like as great of a time as I did before? I just feel like. Yeah. There's some movies, movies. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Like, am I gonna enjoy it as much as I did the first time? Because there's some movies you can watch again and always enjoy the same as you did the first time. Me with Ratatouille. Yeah, Ratatouille. Like that's a classic movie. You can just watch it over again. I thought I thought you were gonna fight me on that and try to make fun of me on that. <laughs> but Ratatouille is actually. A I mean, good, it's a good paced movie. Yeah, you know, they got good pacing. Is work. good. It's genre. And it's not like, that Cocaine Bear was bad or had bad pacing, um, with the characters and stuff. But I think since it relies so heavily on the character interactions, and you already know everything that happens, it's kind of hard to watch it again. Because, like, you already know when people are going to die. And I think the whole, like, a lot of it was off suspense. Uh, like, I'm not going to watch Blade suspense. Runner 2049 again. I'm not going to rewatch yeah. um, it mean American it was bad. Psycho, like, by myself. I'll yeah. watch it with someone else. But maybe not bad. American Psycho. I, I, uh, I feel pretty uncomfortable watching it. I didn't even watch American Psycho. Uh, we need to do a movie review it. on that, then. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I would watch that. All right. But... Uh, wait, what were we talking about? Oh, the, uh, what'd you say? Rewatchability. Rewatchability, yeah. Um, I, I, I said no point. I probably wouldn't watch it again. Yeah. Doesn't mean it was bad. It's just not we, one of the movies we, you'd watch again. We've already been over that. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta, I just gotta clarify. Yeah, like, I, yeah. I did like the yeah, movie, same. but. Liked it, we're watching it. Now, did we enjoy it overall? Yes. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. It, it was, was refreshing. Funny. Yeah, it was cool. It was different from everything uh, yeah. from all the shit movies that have been coming out of Hollywood recently, where yeah. they either just can't come up with new ideas, or it's just garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Now it's either amazing or it's garbage. I mean, me going into it, I like humor, uh, uh, like dark humor and stuff like that, but also I'm a, I like gore. Like I'm a gore guy. I'm not like a murder or anything. I think I already said that. Like, I'm not a murderer. I don't, I don't, you know. But it's always interesting, especially knowing that it's just a movie um, and being able to think about, like, special effects and stuff like that. Like, this isn't about special effects, but... Corridor, we're talking about you. That would be kind of dope for we getting special effects, Corridor. But... We go to <laughs> We hang out with them for a... VFX react. That would be fun though. I thought that. But that's a but that's a yeah. podcast topic. Yeah. But I think the gore was really well made. I like the the gore. Um You're gore before I get on, uh, off topic yeah. this is the wait, what was this one again? The um Did we enjoy it? Did we enjoy it? Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm a gore guy. 
Uh, I love shows like The Walking Dead, like Attack on Titan, like that kind of stuff. Like, I just love that. It's always just so intense and enjoyable, and I think that's really why I enjoyed this movie. And also, does it mix being able to laugh in the middle of it? Like, there's not a lot of movies that can do that, that can do such, like, horrifying stuff. Like, having a guy get his leg bitten off and then falling, like, five stories out of a tree. And his neck just shatter. Yeah. That was gross. And, and then... And the, and the guy's head being, like, chewed off. Yeah. And in the bucket. And, like, there's uh, no movie that can... The guy, the way that he died at the end, where his intestines got opened and then the cubs <laughs> ate it. Like, the cubs yeah. were, like, dragging it out. I was, I was gonna say, uh, the teenagers... There's nothing like seeing a guy get his head turned into a donut and his other friend get decapitated and you feel a little unnerved from that and then after his friend who doesn't even know they died gets shown a clip of them and he's like, oh yeah, what, me and my two friends are going to go on a trip this year and then it shows both of their... <laughs> it shows <laughs> one guy with the bullet in his head and one bodies. guy holding his head and they're all sitting next to each other and they're like yeah we're gonna, like you know <laughs> I know what you that mean was, that it was that so was, funny. Was funny like the that way they funny. like the way it was I enjoyed that movie so much it just did stuff that I haven't seen in a movie before I think it was good for a genre because it crossed over two genres in one like, it was and they did it was fun it. I'm, I'm happy with it yeah alright Definitely get a point for that one. For our final score, we gave it a seven and a half out, uh, out of ten. If I if I add a all. seven and a half, seven and a half out of ten, which is kind of up. It's kind of high up. It's better than fifty. It's not bad. This is like what a 75 percent. Yeah. Which I mean, it wasn't rating, even a triple uh, triple A. Our, triple A's our, for games. Our, right? our, yeah, triple A's for games. So what's our, our rating wasn't far off from Ron Tomatoes, which yeah. I'm a little shocked. I hate them. <laughs> I, Dude, sometimes I, I Rotten Tomato so reviews, much. I'm like, Shit. that that I don't really. Agree Did with we that follow name. the tomato formula? Did we follow it? I don't even know what the tomato formula is. I no, I don't think anyone knows what it is. But we got like they they gave it a 68. We gave it a 75 technically. Maybe. Wow. Um. That's interesting. I mean. Yeah. Well, but the also. That score is about all the aspects as a total, but I think the characters made the movie really. Oh yeah, wait, like without wait, all those give aspects. Give it like a five star rating. Give... Like, don't each of us give it a five star rating at the end? For just the movie in total. Yeah. Like the whole movie. Yeah. Like, what would you rate? I, I would rate. That I like... mean, out of the out of the main points or parts of a movie, it's a seven. You said seven point five, right? Yeah. It's seven point five. But out of a five star rating for me, I would probably give it a four. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I was gonna it's say it's a four. A four. Maybe a. F- maybe a four and a half. I mean, if. What would what would we change? What if something? What I, I wouldn't think to if change something anything. changed. What would make it a five star though? If they had an. If they, if they had something where the bear ruined something and yeah. the characters had Maybe if the characters all... I don't know, because... At don't the know end, they do kind of work together. Yeah. But maybe if the bear wasn't... I don't know. The movie was good, don't get me wrong, but... I feel like there was something... I think it's still in the plot, man. Yeah. I just feel like there could have been more development of the actual story itself, not just the characters. And not not gonna say it wasn't enjoyable, but yeah. it was still it, it was still a fun thing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe if the bear maybe if something caused more challenges that led off of one another. Instead of because the whole challenge was surviving the bear through the whole film, but even in movies like horror genre movies that do that Usually there's certain things that happen um, in the case of survival. And they're like, oh, this happened, so now we have to get to here, and now we have to do this. But this movie, it was kind of all spread out all over the place, like characters coming into each other. I mean, it was in a big nature reserve, and like the characters were kind of all jumbled around. 
But I mean, I think I guess it was just the charm of the movie, yeah. like all the characters and and they were funny. They didn't feel one dimensional. Like they they all had different aspects, you know. So I would give it a four. All right. Seven point so, five, and I give it a four. What do you give it for stars? I give it a four as well. That's exactly yeah. All right. Seventy five percent chance for a uh, final score. Yeah. Will we I'm recommend gonna, it? Will, I, I would I, recommend it. I would it. recommend it. It was funny. It's it's something to watch with people. It's a party. Yeah. Movie. It's a party. It movie. is a party movie. So like I wouldn't watch it again by myself, but if I was with a group of friends, yeah. I think you need to watch the movie. Even if you Well, I was going to say even if you aren't a big fan of gore, but you're not a huge fan of gore I'm either not a and huge you love it. fan of gore and like if it was gory, I just looked away. I don't And, and gore like, didn't and like, even take away from some it. stuff. Like yeah, they didn't like shy away from it at all. I mean the gore didn't like take away from the movie though either. No, it added to it. If because anything. it made it funnier when it switched. Because if it just switched from violence to humor, I don't think it would be as funny as switching to something like, like super scarring un- and then un- doing something funny. Something unthinkable and yeah. then just do 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 80s music do 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 do. I thought that was great. Yeah. All right. Just to it wrap it good. up. So I'd recommend wrap it up S- seven and a half out, out of ten four stars from both of us and 75 percent chance on final score so definitely watch it if you haven't watched it well sorry we had there are some spoilers we didn't say any we didn't really say any characters who like when the characters side though but, but no, no no we talked i about mean it. maybe we talked about it. if you haven't watched it though still watch it if you get if you get spoilers for the movie still watch it like yeah. Really. All right. All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching the final score. Somewhere in this video, there will be a link to our podcast playlist for season one of Through the Barrel. And then a video that YouTube would want you to watch of ours. And then a button to subscribe. Somewhere. Here. Somewhere. The, the button could be over Reese's face. I'll probably it put it there. We could put it down here. I'm gonna cover Reese's face with the button. I don't care. Maybe there'll be a playlist on top of my on top of my face. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Dude, Don't I you. really want to do bullet train now. I really want to write the bullet train. I was thinking we do like boots. <laughs> like. <laughs>